So today guys, we're going to be replacing this boot. Now I'm not going to be going over the full details of the removal and reinstallation of the CV axles as I've already made a full detailed video on that. That will be linked in the description below. This is a Cardone HD boot on my Tacoma and I've had this since about October 2023. I'll show the screenshot here and now it's April 2025 and lasted like a year and a half with some hard wheeling. Finally, the boot gave out. So today, we're going to be replacing this boot. First, let's remove these boot clamps. This is basically just folded over. I'll take a flat head, really small flat head, and undo the one side. Have it basically sit like that. I'll take the same flat head. And this is basically two layers of banding. I wanna get between those two and pull that right out and that, you can see it's off completely done with one hand and just undo the opposite side and good to go switching to left hand same idea getting underneath the band Doing that, pushing a little bit, and then getting underneath. And now I'll take needle nose pliers, and basically I'm just gonna spin it like this, and that gets undone, just like that. And this separates completely, but it's really messy. So let me grab a rag. So got the rag underneath it, and now you can just pull it apart. I'll just push on the boot on one side and that separates the boot from the inner portion of the CV there. And now Next thing we want to do is wipe this section out so we can expose the snap ring underneath. Now you can see the snap ring right in there. And just take our snap ring tool, squeeze it and separate it out. It comes right out. Now at this point, you can take this. This is the tulip side and then just remove it completely, wipe off all this excess grease and now we can also push CV from the opposite end. Oh, push the boot off, off the opposite end and we should be able to Move that boot completely, just like that. Pass that thing out. Same rag. Let's get most of this crap out of here. Clean up the snap ring. Let's set it to the side so we don't lose it. And we can clean up this, basically this bearing. Get rid of as much of the old grease as possible. You'll need some rags with this. Definitely is. This is very messy. And this, we'll try to dig out as much of the old grease as possible too. The most we could do with this rag. Got another one. Clean 
like this bearing a bit better. Now we'll be using this boot kit from Toyota to replace that inner boot. This will come with both the inner and outer boots. So let's open it up. This kit will come with your boots, your boot clamps, along with some snap rings it looks like. Which won't, we won't be using those snap rings because we're using the Cardones. And it'll come with two grease packs. Well, two sets of grease packs, that is. We have this 986, 987, and these are basically both the same grease. One is a bigger package than the other. So you can see this is a 215 grams. This is 60 grams. And see that the grease is M3014, M3014. Same thing with this one. Grease is M3013, M3013. And this is 125 grams, and this is 60 grams. And this looks more like a, it's like cooking oil almost. So for the inner, for the inner side of the CV, we will be using this lighter looking grease. And I'll show, I'll load the screenshot of the shop manual so you guys can see. Now this boot will fit over the uh, Cardones, but it's not gonna be like super exact. But we'll work through that. So this boot has ridges on the interior, which basically prevents the grease from flinging out. And this only has the ridges on the outer edge here but on the inner edge here there's none so we're going to be using some rtv to seal everything in because it's just so close that is so close do this at your own discretion and um yeah i'm just testing this out and i'll keep you guys posted with how well this solution turns out because these Cardones, they're actually very durable CVs and I've used them for, I mean, the uh, previous set I had on, this was also Cardones. And uh, I think the only reason why I replaced them was due to corrosion. So, and the seal's going bad. So, yeah, we'll see how this works out. So, I'll finish cleaning this up. I got some brake cleaner on this rag. Get as much of the old grease out as possible. And we'll take our boot and shove it in there. Get it to that thin part of the neck here. Then we'll take our bearing here. Clean it up a little bit more. Then we'll place it back on that spline. Then we'll take our snap ring. And just put it back in its proper spot. Make sure it seats properly. There we go. And just check all the way around, it's sitting flush, just like that. Give this a quick wipe down. Now, if you are using this video as a reference to replace the boot on the OEM CV axles, according to the shop manual, there are some match marks that you do have to line up prior to assembly. These Cardone CV axles didn't have any match marks, so I just put them in however you see. And they ran without vibrations anyway, and I'll get more into that at the end of this video. And this, this cup here, you definitely wanna clean up this outer edge as much as we can. It's free from grease as possible. I got some brake cleaner on here, so. That should clean up that area. Take a cleaner rag. Let's 
clean that up. And also let's take the same rag and just clean the inside of the CV boot. Now at this point, after editing this video and looking at some of these steps a little bit more thoroughly, I would recommend to dry fit everything so you could align that CV boot with the cup properly before filling it with grease. Because in the next bit, you'll see that I had a little bit of a fumbling to get everything aligned without making too much of a mess. Now we can take one of our grease packs and then just run some grease through these bearings here. Just working that in. This will be a very messy job, not gonna lie. that in there and those needle bearings I think that's good for that all right now I'll get this uh, RTV I'll just run a bead all the way around fill this with the rest of the grease packets. Now we can get this in here. And then just push that CV boot down. Just like that. Now for the boot clamps, I am using these aftermarket ones since the ones for Toyota are specific to that CV and these will be, I'll try to tighten this up much more than what the factory ones can pretty much manage. So, and then we'll squeeze this together. Voila. We'll have some RTVs oozing out. That's okay. And just go around, get that excess right off of there. Oh yeah, so we also gotta put the lower boot. Just like new. Also, if you are replacing those CV boots, it's probably a good idea to also replace these uh, hub seals. As, as you can see, like there's seal material there and this thing has definitely gotten its use. So, 
replace them, it's, uh, it's a good call while that CV's out. The inner one seems to hold okay, but it's just these outer ones. Now to close out this video, I did drive a thousand plus miles with four days of wheeling, mudding, and rock crawling right after I put these new CV boots on. Now the combination with the OEM CV boots and these Cardone CV axles, it held together perfectly. I had no leaks or vibrations, but I would highly recommend that you do put the RTV in between the two just to ensure that everything's sealed. So that's all I got for today's video, guys. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button if you haven't yet. And until next time, peace out, everybody.